So, this is another uh, shearing operation called a stretch forming operations. Here the sheet material is stretched and uh, simultaneously bent to achieve a shape change. Uh, this is stretch forming includes a start off process, a form die is pressed into uh, work with uh, a force uh, excited by uh, on the die causing it to be stretched and uh, bent over the form. So, this uh, force is equal to the stretching force. Here the stretching is the process of uh, stressing the work blank beyond its uh, elastic limit by moving a uh, form block towards the blank or sheet metal as it is shown. Here this die is moved and at the same time it is uh, stretched. The form block has projection of exact size required on the um, blank uh, which is in the form of a depression on the same uh, blank. So, you see the direction of the force how this uh, stretching force is exerted. And uh, we have two methods for uh, doing this uh, stretch forming operation. So, one is a form block method, another one is a matting die method. In this uh, form block method, uh, uh, here uh, see the lower line will uh, replicate the actual final shape what we require. And uh, this upper die will also have the same uh, projections, and when it is uh, pressed uh, what happens uh, this sheet metal would be formed to the required uh, shape right. So, this is what the work blank with respect to tension and the movement of the upper uh, die uh, towards uh, downwards and with this uh, we are getting the shape and in this method uh, uh, the two end of the blanks or sheet metal is tightly held by an adjustable gripper. The gripper is uh, fixed but uh, adjustable. Uh, then the black uh, form black is moved upwards of the blank to make required shape and the form black is operated by hydraulic cylinder. So, all these are the uh, uh, things which is involved in the form, uh, form block method. In matting die method, uh, the blank is held in a movable gripper and the blank is placed between the lower and upper die and uh, the lower die is kept stationary whereas the upper die is movable uh, which is uh, operated by hydraulic cylinder. Then the movable grippers are moved towards the lower die on which only elastic deformation takes place. It has its own advantages, uh, the lower strength is required and uh, less tooling cost, uh, complex shapes with uh, uh, close tolerance can be made and the weight and materials are also saved, uh, little or no residual stress occurs in the formed products, products. The disadvantage is the material must not be super elastic at the service temperature that is uh, when it is working at that condition it should not be super elastic. Uh, maintenance cost of the hydraulic cylinder is high.